But they <laughs> they they put in that. Uh, was he a, a wife beater? That Ty Cobb. He, he was a he was Ty a, Cobb. He was a was an everything beater. <laughs> he beat up everything. Ty Cobb was a, a horrible racist. Yeah. I think he was a Demerol addict. Yeah. He was tremendously big into stocks. Um, he's going stumpy, stumpy investing coke is going into cans. Uh, he was great. He was Ty Cobb was a I, I'm, I want a Cobb jersey because he was such a brutal guy. He's a bad boy. You can't find a Detroit Tigers. Uh, I want just a Cobb jersey. Yeah, he would beat up his own breakfast before he. Yeah. <laughs> he was just not a nice Sounds guy. Sounds fantastic. There was a, there was a story of, of him hitting a black guy who was like uh, who worked at the field or something like that who just said like you know good morning Mister. He said hello How to. There he talked to uh, Ty Cobb. He said hello to Ty in a way that was too familiar that only white men should say hello it was oh, some boy. it was some offense yeah. that you're like wow what a bull this guy was mm. he was a really bad guy oh the guy that said hi right oh, yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> should have known better <laughs> hey i want more ty cobb info too because one guy alex in buffalo and we're, we're going to continue with uh, this this sam thing there's a myth and i want to know if this is true that ty cobb killed the guy with a baseball bat and then hit a home <laughs> just run just for with, snoring and then hit a home run with the same bat the next day that's probably nonsense <laughs> but he did <laughs> who knows though wow. his mother did <laughs> Uh, murder his father. Wow. And I believe really? it was, uh, there was a different reports where Ty had to uh, back her up in court. Mm -hmm. But I think what was happening was, but Ty, at least Ty, wow. Robert Wool played uh, the guy who wrote his biography who hung out with him. And, and, and I think the real story that Ty eventually told him was that uh, his father suspected his mother was cheating. So he came home cool. and uh, caught her. And maybe it wasn't the mother who shot him. Maybe it was the lover who shot the father. But Ty I said, took a Kaiser blade. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little fella. <laughs> I think that Ty said the last thing my father saw was the man who was effing his wife. Wow. Uh, before he was oh. shot. Oh. I think that was, uh, he had some horrible well, childhood okay. well. trauma. Guess you gotta give him a little uh, leeway. <laughs> yeah, the Georgia Peach. And the greatest quote about basketball ever. <laughs> oh? Yeah. Oh no! Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Believe, if, it, if it was 2006, it's all I'd want to do is play it. <laughs> <laughs> Got to play it a little safer, though. Have you hear that one? A yeah, now, safer. I'm, now I'm curious. All if, right. if we played that, I'd fire me. <laughs> <laughs> I, now I got to read it online at least. They get the quote online, so you get our reaction when we read it. Yes, Mike. Hey, I was calling to uh, tell you, boys, that Ty Cobb used to sit on the top step of the dugout and sharpen his cleats to scare the uh, infielders <laughs> on the other team. Yes, he would sharpen them, and he would slide really, really in a way to really stab somebody with his bike. What an ass. Ty Cobb ruled. Yeah. How did he and die? Hey, well, one he more thing. Jimmy, happy age. birthday. Thank you. I yeah, think yeah, he died of uh, old age. I mean, he was very he was, he, again, he was hooked on. It might have been morphine he was hooked on. Wow. He was injecting Good something stuff. into his stomach. He was had cancer. Uh, Ty Cobb's ugliest scandal. The Georgia Peach once beat a heckling fan who had no hands. <laughs> no way. I'm telling you, this guy rolls. He was a bad... Wow. In, yeah, you want to read this? Yeah, sure, man. In, in May of 1912, <laughs> at New York Highlander Park, the Detroit Tigers are playing the hometown New York Highlanders. In the stands behind home plate, it was a Highlander fan named Claude Luker who was giving Detroit's Ty Cobb a tough time, a really tough time. According to spectators who were there, Luker hurled insults and epithets at Cobb every time the Georgia Peach came to the plate. By the end of the fifth inning, Cobb warned the Highlanders' manager and the umpires that if the man <laughs> wasn't ejected from the game, there was going to be some serious trouble. Oh, no! <laughs> Nothing was oh, done no. to the rambunctious fan. So when he called the, notori the, when he, when he called the notoriously racist Cobb a half- yeah. In the bottom of the sixth inning, the ferocious outfielder <laughs> climbed into the crowded stands, leaped upon the pan, and began beating him senseless. <laughs> Other fans began pleading with Cobb to stop the physical attack because the foul-mouthed Mr. Luker had no hands. He had apparently lost them years earlier in an industrial accident. And the crowd pleaded, as the crowd pleaded, Ty responded as he pummeled the man, I don't care if he's got no feet. <laughs> American League Commissioner Ban Johnson, who was at the game, immediately suspended Cobb oh. indefinitely from baseball. Oh. Oh. Um, in a surprise show of support from his teammates, who did not exactly adore Cobb, the entire roster went on strike the next day and refused to play unless Cobb was allowed to return to the team. The commissioner told Detroit's owner, Frank Navin, that he would fine the team $5,000 for every game they refused to play. Navin pleaded with his players, but they simply would not budge. Wow. I would love to know. <laughs> oh. 
That's a great story. Yeah, he was Ooh, uh, flinging out the old "you're half a N word." Boy, that's all it took wow. to get Cobb into the stands. Yeah, he um he used to bat in a really weird way. He has he obviously has the uh, an over four hundred average. Uh, I think it was a four or six lifetime average. Mm -hmm. I'm going to guess. And he would bat with his hands separated. Uh, he was a he was a really great player. Oh really? Yeah, his hands uh, like instead of ch like yeah touching being, your hands together being, on the bat. Yeah, bottom uh, pinky over top. Thumb and forefinger, he would. Uh, yeah. have, I don't know how long of a separation. It almost looked like he was going to bunt, mm -hmm. but not that far apart. Yeah. And he's, he would just hit the ball that he way. He slapped a lot of base hits. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think he didn't hit a lot of home runs. No, he hated home runs. He thought they were awful. Really? Yes. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> thought they were stupid. And a great quote on Babe Ruth. Well, he ran well for a fat man. <laughs> that was a quote on Babe Ruth. <laughs> a set on him. I love him. Uh, people are saying he died of a codeine overdose. Oh, was it? Was codeine that he hooked on? Uh, Emerald Blue, morphine. I over two. I was. Lou Healer is usually good uh, for some knowledge stuff. So. Yeah, he was in his seventies. He was uh, he was old. That's old for back when he died. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not a lot of guys living past seventy back uh, back in Ty Cobb's time. And now we're getting more Ty Cobb knowledge. You got some favorites here, Jimmy? All of them. All of them? Really? It's Im it's impossible to convey these. Yeah. Oh, the there. last one is amazing. You see the last little... Oh, yeah, the little blurb. That, that doesn't say a lot. Only four people from baseball attended Cobb's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> he was, at that time, undoubtedly the greatest player ever. I mean, he was, sure. he was, the, the, he hitter, was the guy. Four people mm -hmm. from baseball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which ones are worth... I didn't get to read these. Are we going to read you them really all? You really can't. There's, there's no way you can do They're all this. brutal? Yeah. They're, they're too brutal. And you want to try one? Because you know what it is? It's not... They're so brutal that it's not funny unless you can say the brutality, but you can't even say it. Well, the one in 1912, we could start there. In June of 1912, three men jumped Cobb and his wife in Detroit. Cobb pulled his gun, but it wouldn't fire. So he chased down one of the fleeing thieves and beat the man's face to an unrecognizable pulp with the butt of his pistol. Pistol whipped. Yes. All the other ones are so racist. Uh, the chambermaid... <laughs> Well, how, can we do it somehow? Um, I mean, this is history. Let's see. In 1908, Cobb knocked down an African-American asphalt spreader who had accidentally spattered some tar on his trousers. Mm -hmm. The same year, the black newspaper, the Chicago Defender, reported Cobb had kicked a chambermaid down a flight of stairs after she objected <laughs> to being called a... Oh, my God. In 1909, without provocation, cops slapped a black elevator operator at the Hotel uh, Euclid in Cleveland. When the hotel detective, who was also black, intervened, cop pulled a knife and slashed him. Jesus. This guy... How did um, this guy survive? You, you know, would think someone would have... He, he, he was uh, a problem. He yeah. slept with a loaded pistol under his pillow. All right. He was so, so afraid. And here it says, in spring training in 1907... Kumia, considered a racist <laughs> by many. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, Cobb, a oh, Cobb, Cobb, fought yeah. a black groundskeeper over the condition of the Tigers' spring training field in Augusta, Georgia, and ended up choking the man's wife when she intervened. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a maniac. Just a maniac. <laughs> wow. Yep. I, I, don't think I, I don't think I saw the Ty Cobb movie. I say I don't think. Is this stuff in it? No, a lot, uh, no, all this, all this stuff should be in a Ty Cobb movie. Well, him being a racist absolutely is in it. Yeah, Tommy Lee Jones as an actor. Oh, great! I would for free <laughs> just do the lines he got to do. <laughs> <laughs> it was, he was really good as Ty Cobb. Uh, Robert Wool was okay as the guy Stumpy who played the reporter. Who was um, mm -hmm. again Cobb wanted him to write his life, and the conflict was Cobb wanted it to be you know, baseball is a game. He wanted it to be written like the great Ty Cobb. Oh, boy. I am the great Ty Cobb. And he's trying to dictate how this guy would write his biography. Yeah. But meanwhile, this guy's taking notes on how awful <laughs> Ty Cobb is. What a horrible human being. Oh, is. he's just a racist, and he's terrible, and he's just he's just rotten. And Cobb found his notes, and there was a big conflict. And uh, Cobb had no clue what an ass he was. He didn't care. Right. Oh, no, you know, he knew. No, he knew. He didn't care. He just didn't care. Oh, okay. You know. I can appreciate that. Oh, uh, <laughs> Glad you said it. And he's in the Hall of Fame? Ty Cobb, first oh, guy. Yeah. First guy. And, and 
<laughs> Someone's saying, and Pete Rose can't get in. Yeah, that's why this whole thing is ridiculous when they, when they ban players from being in the hall. I was wrong. Let them all in. It, baseball's a dirty game. You're right. Always it has been. 